Okay, last time we talked about serving and location and how important location was to effective serving. This time, we're gonna talk about the hand signals because that relates directly to the location of the serve. All right, we use a two-hand communication system for calling the hand signals. We do that for a reason. On one hand, we let the, uh, the server know the location we want for the serve, and on the other hand, we tell them to block. That way, we have direct communication with our partner at all times, no guessing, we know exactly where the ball is going to go and what job we're both going to do. So on the, on the one hand, tells the server where you want them to serve. So it goes all the way through the six locations, starting with one, which is right side back, two, the right side front, three, middle front or close, four, left side close, five, left side back, and six, middle deep. We use the other hand to give the blocking signal. So you can give the traditional blocking signal one for line block or two for cross block or you can make up your own signals. With these two hands working together is a complete communication system between the blocker and the server. That way we know what's being served and what's being blocked. So if you want your partner to serve the ball middle deep you put, give the fist from middle deep to the six and a two like this for a cross block. If you want it to be middle deep with the six and line block, it looks like this. We created the two hand calling system in 1995 uh, when I was coaching Natalie Cook and Kerry Pothars, uh, Australian Olympians, because we are playing in Brazil once and the crowd was so noisy, the girls couldn't hear each other on court. If you watch the film, you'll actually see them turning around from the net and screaming at each other. But you had 30,000 Brazilians screaming right back and they couldn't hear each other. So with the two-hand system, you, all the information is in the system. You know what you're blocking, you know what you're serving, you don't have to talk. Okay, so that's the two-hand communication system for giving hand signals. Look, there's no hard, fast rules. Make it up, own it, come up with your own signals. The key here is that you have to have clear communication. You gotta know, the server has to know what they're doing, the blocker has to know what they're doing before the ball is served. Yeah? So communication is the key. If you wanna be a successful team on the beach, you gotta communicate. So there you go. Have fun. We'll see you next time on the beach.